So, if you have been watching my vegan Thanksgiving ebook series, this is video two out of five. And in this video, we'll be making some vegan dressing. So, I love my grandmother's dressing, and she finally kind of like veganized it for me a while ago because I don't eat any meat, I don't eat dairy, anything like that. So, um, it's a really easy recipe. Check it out. And the next video in the series is roasted autumn vegetables. So, make sure to check that one out as well. Leave any questions below, but let's get right into it. All right, y'all, we're gonna start by making our cornbread and I basically just substituted the dairy ingredients with non-dairy ingredients. So I'm using the regular cornmeal mix and I'm gonna use almond milk instead of regular milk. And instead of um, vegan, I mean regular butter, I'm using vegan butter. So I just melted that down and I'm adding it according to the package instruction. And instead of an egg, I am using aquafaba, which is the liquid from chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And it's so awesome. Like you guys, you just have to try this ingredient out. I've used it in so many ways. So I'm just gonna mix that up and cook the cornbread to package instructions. Now I'm chopping up bell pepper, green bell pepper, onions, and celery because this is what is in traditional dressing. Oh, love it! So once all those babies are chopped up, you know what, just gonna set them to the side because now my cornbread's done. You can use day old cornbread, but I like to use fresh cornbread. I'm smashing it up, get it as crumbly as you can, y'all, just crumble it up. Then we're gonna add those veggies in. I actually took the liquid from a can of mushrooms and poured it in to give it a little bit more of that umami flavor. You can see one of the mushrooms fall in. I just didn't want to use the mushrooms because um, they smelled weird. And I'm adding some vegetable broth as well as some more vegan margarine. Yep. Now I'm gonna season up that mixture with some salt and pepper. I think I actually crumbled up a garden veggie cube and just added some in there. Again, all the measurements you need will be on my website. So that's that vegan margarine I was referring to earlier. Honestly, in this particular recipe, you probably wouldn't even need that extra stuff and that's reflected in the written recipe. So I'm just gonna mix all of that together as well as I can. I'm gonna combine all of that to make sure our ingredients are distributed evenly. Now I'm just adding some fresh herbs. Really, you can do it to your liking, but I'm adding a little bit of sage and some magic stuff. Red pepper, seasoning, and what else? Liquid smoke, Oh yeah, that's what I like. Now I'm gonna pour that into a baking dish, and, and then we're gonna bake it on 350 for 30 minutes, or until it's golden brown. Look at it. You can stick a toothpick in it, it'll come out clean, looking nice and golden, delicious, and it smells even better. As you can see, there is a chunk missing out of the corner because I could not help myself. It was just so delicious. So you can pair this with any other recipes in the Vegan Thanksgiving ebooks. Check it out. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy holidays.